a valid uh, weapon that you can get from the uncle. Everything from sword bombs, uh, canes, and, and rods, really. Oh, it looks like we're off. Just a little piece of love there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not opposed to, to just see that in the first chest. It means that you're not going to have to do an extra menu when you go when you get to the uncle to get your weapon. Mm -hmm. So very fast uh, map check there. Um, looked like uh, Tower Hero was a pennant, but I didn't really see the rest of them. Yeah, that was way too fast for me. You do get a cane of Samaria from uncle here, which is... Uh... An interesting start, I'd say, at least. Yeah, it's uh, it's a weapon that gives you a lot of option to uh, farm for bombs if you want to, because it drains so little magic. Yeah, and you can really optimize your magic use as well if you start pushing the block around a bit and then explode it to, you know, get a little bit more damage out of that one block. So no. no, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say no bomb so far. Both of them collecting quite a few rupees already, though. Yeah, that's, that's always nice in case they don't get any bombs. They, they will at the very least have some money to buy some later. A lot of hearts so far. And full heart containers too, not just uh, heart pieces. Yeah, it never hurts to get some of them early on. Especially, you never know if you're going to have to do one of those more uh, um, dangerous dungeons early on in the game as well. So getting a couple of heart, piece, um, heart containers is definitely not bad. Oh, TGH accidentally walking up those stairs there. Causing him a, a second maybe, not very much at all, but still annoying. So we're going to check out what Zelda has for us in her cell, and then uh, I think then is really the part where the bomb farming kind of starts, in the, in the rope room, first of all, I would say. Yeah, the rope room is a pretty excellent room to just be able to farm, because you have so many enemies there. And so far, yeah, we haven't seen any bombs from the guards, so maybe it's just better to try another drop pool. TGH was uh, getting bullied by that green guard a little bit, followed him around to the ball and chain guard, but made it out just fine. So, you were talking a little bit about um, the potential... Oh, there's a bomb for Jem, so that's that's excellent um, for him. Uh, okay, GTH nice. not getting it. But uh, you were talking a little bit about the, the possibility of maybe taking a bit more chances this, uh, this run than uh, in previous. Do you think there's a possibility we might see some divergence straight off? Someone doing South Shore before... Uh, for Kakarika, possibly? Uh, I think there's always a chance that happens. I'm not sure how likely, how likely we are to see that here, but I, it's not necessarily bad. We've seen it a couple of times this tournament. I would like to see immediate divergence, and it looks like Jim is totally happy with that one bomb he has. Yeah, I can't 
uh, blame me for that. Like, that's all you need to check the back of escape, so you can always get more bombs in Kakari Kakariko later, especially when you have the money for it. Yeah, that's very true. They're not exactly poor. I'm getting a map here in the Dark Sewers chest. TGH uh, still not very lucky with the bomb drops. He's got some arrows, but he's still zero on bombs. Yeah, so let's see what the back of escape is holding first then. Uh, most of the times, uh, it's not the most important thing, but, uh, well, that ice rod, that could definitely play a part. But uh, we're probably going to see TGH just checking that as soon as they got the gloves. Yeah, I'm sure TGH will be back here as soon as possible. That ice rod could very well come into play. I always feel like if you find ice rod this easily and this early on, it almost always means TR is a pendant dungeon. <laughs> yeah. Who knows, uh, like Pendant TR, then it definitely means it's required as well, right? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Oh man, there's half magic in Sang. Okay, so we saw another uh, map check there. It looks like I think I saw the, that desert and eastern was uh, crystals, and I didn't look like any of them were the five six ones. Yeah, I think you were right earlier when you said Hera was a pendant and the other two were normal crystals, so that's not too bad of a light world. Oh man, and look at what we find here in the mushroom spot. Ooh, yeah, that's, an, that's a spicy find this early. Oh, and TGH finally gets bailed out here. Yeah, that's a pretty awesome pickup. Um, you're guaranteed to have the enough bombs for just making your way through Kakariko. You don't have to to chance for for finding some bombs in Blind Side or going down to buy them. Now I'm really curious if anyone's crazy enough to immediately go over to Eastern Palace. I mean, I'd be surprised if anyone skips Kakariko at this point, which they obviously aren't, but uh, maybe right after. Yeah, we could see a, an Eastern play before South Shore, possibly. So blinds are not giving them too much, unless there's something here in the back. But there's uh, plenty of chests left here in Kakriko. Chances are that uh, at the very least one of them would give them some kind of value. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if they don't find anything of value in all of Kakariko. That would be quite mean. Well, those okay. silvers together with an early bow, that's, that sure is nice, though. And there's finally a shield. <laughs> okay, hammers, well, that's, that's an awesome pickup. Finally have a reliable weapon that you can use against most enemies. Okay, so Chicken Hut not really having anything. Uh, Both our runners probably gonna stock up on some bombs here, and it's gonna be interesting to see if any of them decides to do the blind uh, race game. Um, I would imagine that both of them might just check it first, but uh, you never know. Okay, 
They're, they're certainly not lacking in weapons here, I would say. Yeah, they already have three of the starting weapons you can get from Knuckle. And there's the single arrow on the library, so probably not gonna see them pick that up any, any, at all this run. Yeah, that single arrow, very important, but I don't think anyone's gonna pick that up. Yeah, on the race game though, we did have the power gloves. Oh. That is a very nice find, and um, probably gonna let. It's also gonna let TGH uh, go and check that um, back of escape as well. It also means we're just a moon pearl away from dark world access at this point. Yeah, we only need that moon pearl to go over into the dark world. And uh, as you were saying, I wouldn't be surprised to see TGH check that back of escape as soon as he can. It uh, might take a little while, depending on when he wants to route it in. Just because starting in sanctuary doesn't really necessarily get him anywhere right now. Oh, never mind. Yeah, the, like, when you're gonna check the, the back of escape, you're probably just gonna save and quit after that anyways. So, uh... So I guess really, any point you wanna save and quit, you can just do it. And it, it looks like Gem might be going for the early Eastern play here. I'm gonna check what's on the, uh, on the Lake Highly Island first. And that's the bug net. Yeah, I think there's unfortunately a pretty low chance of anyone picking that up. Yeah, I, I would imagine so as well. It's a nice safety if you happen to pick it up, but I don't think any of these runners would really need that. Right, so there is our route divergence that we were talking about earlier. TGH yeah, and, going down to uh, the dam. Yeah, and Gem finding a lot of money, so um, if uh, if they decide to go to the South Shore afterwards, they might have enough money for Sora at that point. So not having the fire rod or a sword is going to make these dark rooms a little bit more annoying, but uh, they're pretty safe with the, the hard count so far, and both of these runners are excellent at the game, so I, I don't imagine seeing too much problem with that. Yeah, I don't think they will have any trouble with the dark rooms here, but uh, yeah, you're right. You Normally, you'd like to at least have a sword to hold out or something like that to make navigation a little bit more convenient. That was a very disappointing cave for TGH <laughs> yeah. there. I would say so. Uh, the Souths are not paying off at all at the moment. On the other side, Gem has already picked up two items of the three that he can potentially find in here, and it was a red boomerang and a blue rupee, so Easter not too great either. Yeah, at the, at the very least, he's gonna get the crystal, so that's always nice. But, um... Gem is probably going to go for South Shore, uh, unless they get something uh, really interesting in, in that last last item here in, in the Eastern as well, so... Yeah, I think it's a pretty safe bet for the South Shore play for Gem afterwards, unless, as you say, he maybe picks up the Moon Pearl. Yeah, so it's worth mentioning that the remaining item here in uh, Eastern is not in Logic at the moment. So if they do happen to find progression here, um, it's locked by the by the lamp. But uh, 
Sequence breaking the lamp is something you will see a lot when uh, people are speedrunning this game. Yeah, the dark rooms in the game, especially the easier ones, I would say, is usually what players try to learn relatively quickly in their random career. Just because there's a lot of opportunity for time saves and a lot of situations where you will be kind of stuck either doing dark rooms or routing really inefficiently. Yeah, for sure. There's so many, like, stupid places the lamp can be, so if you can bypass it, I think it's worth it. Um, was that the last item? I think that was the last item. A green rupee, a blue rupee, and a red boomerang in Eastern, so... TGH following in Gem's footsteps, gonna be equally disappointed, but as you were saying earlier, at least they're gonna get a crystal out of this. And, uh... Gem managed to kill the green Igor, but I think that might have been the wrong one. Doesn't have any more arrows. And now using the red boomerang to kind of figure out where everything is. Uh, he might just be trying to pick up the key, maybe? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the same way. They already have all the items, so they could return here once they're in go mode to finish off the dungeon. Uh, I think it looked like they might have killed the green. Uh, the wrong green Igor. And then when you don't have any arrows left, like you're gonna have to kill him with a hammer instead. And that's not very fun to do when you can't see anything. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a pleasure killing that green Igor with a hammer in the dark. So I think this means that um Sora or Agena's cave are our only two options left to have progression at this point. Yeah, I mean, TGH has done the whole south loop already, even including Ice Rock Cave, so there's not too much stuff left. Yeah, and there is 50 rupees in Ice Rock Cave, so Gem will have 500 rupees once they're done there, so they could just uh, fake flipper straight up to Sora. I'm not going to be able to do um the waterfall cave unfortunately but they could check uh, the old uh, hobo on the way as well oh gem going for the ice rod strats here uh oh So both of our runners kind of just repeating what their opponent has done at an earlier point in the seed. Uh, as you were saying, Gem is going to be having his Zora money very soon. I would not be surprised to see him fake flipper up there immediately. Yeah, especially because at that point Gem will... We, we already see him now <laughs> killing some enemies even in order to farm up some money. So I think that's definitely on his mind right now. But yeah, at this point, Gem will know that Sora and Agena um, is the only two options left. So once you're already here, it just makes sense to do the fake flippers up there straight away. And as Ag is pointing out in chat, that B denied Gem finding out what the stun prize is for today's seed. So he'll have to try again at some other point. And 
In the meanwhile, GGH has made it to the armless fight with silver arrows. This is gonna be a short one. And Jem decides no fake flipper and he wants to check again as K first, so that's an interesting choice to me. Looks like TGH. No, I think he's walk. Oh, there's the lamp. Okay. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Uh, does give them two more items in logic by going up to Death Mountain. Oh man, that's uh, that's probably one of the more inconvenient items they could have found there. Yeah, for sure. A bit unfortunate seeing that after uh, you were just in Eastern Palace as well, having a little bit of trouble in the dark room. So on the other end, uh, TGH is going for Sora. So just because we found the lamp doesn't mean that Sora um, is not going to have anything. Could still be progression up here as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. First, we're gonna see what the old man has for us, and it is the Moon Pearl! Ooh, well, that, that's Darkwell then. So, it looks like Jem making exactly the right decision there, not going to Zora. Yeah. But, but Zora, oh. man. Wow, there's the book. That's, uh, that's interesting, because they're gonna find a lamp, so if, uh, if Desert is not bootslocked, they could actually, like TGH, he could finish Desert straight away. Still wants a fire source though before he can. Yeah, but he's gonna get it from the uh, Agnes cave. Oh yeah, of course the lamp. You were just saying that. So both of those choices possibly turn in out quite well. Yeah, so Gem is gonna skip Sora for now. That makes a lot of sense when you have Dark World access. You have no uh, reason to go all the way up there for one item. Instead of going into this portal, so probably gonna check Hype Cave straight away. See the last two pendants are the blue one in Feast Town and the green one at Turtle Rock and the five, six crystals at um, Palace of Darkness and Ice Palace. Yep, and as we were predicting, Turtle Rock is a pendant, and the green one no less, so it's 100% required. <laughs> yeah, it must be. So on the, in the Hype Cave, we got some blue mail, and some extra safeties in form of hard pieces and containers. No, I would say I would not call that a hype cave, but uh, well, it's a safe cave, I guess. Yeah, I would maybe give that 25% hype. That blue mail wasn't bad, but the rest, me. Curious to see if Gem uh, decides after the pyramid check if he wants to go up to maybe check catfish. I know it's out of the way, but it's one of those things. Uh, he might be waiting for the mirror since he skipped Zora as well. Yeah, possibly. So, we did find out that boots will be required to seed because uh, Desert is boot slot. Alright, so 
looks like after all of this ordeal that uh, TGH and Jem just went through, uh, Jem maybe making a little bit better of a decision there by not going to Zora. Yeah, definitely seems to be uh, the better play right now, but as long as they uh, manage to get past uh, to Sora later, if that book is the required uh, passageway into Desert. So heading over to Palace of Darkness, this is fully clearable and it's in Logic as well, as well as a, a Crystal. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I really like this play. There's uh, a whole lot of stuff in, in Palace of Darkness, usually. With the lamp, we don't even have to deal with any of the annoying dark rooms in there. Yeah, and... Uh, who knows, maybe they will be uh, lucky enough to get the mirror and they could just take care of the rest of uh, Eastern straight away as well. Yeah, that might be the most convenient item Jem can find right now, especially since you can then decide to maybe even combine that Catfish and Zora check that we were talking about earlier. So it looks like TGH is uh, gonna check Hype Cave first as well. So might um, follow in Jem's footsteps here. Yeah, I mean, I can understand this decision, especially as you were saying earlier with the items that they have currently. Lamp, hammer, bow, absolutely nothing holding you back from clearing out pod. Yeah, especially when you didn't get any progression with that bow in Eastern. Makes uh, Pod look even more suspicious. Pod is always suspicious. I can't, I, I just can't trust a palace with uh, six small keys in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. So I'm guessing you're uh, suspicious to uh, Mr. Meyer as well, though? Yes, absolutely. Probably, well, maybe even more than Pod. <laughs> TGH uh, has picked up his shell upgrade. Getting a new paint job. Oh, and there's the mirror. Wow. In Palace of Darkness, so that's an excellent find. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on you, Walter. <laughs> I wanna know if I have to get the stake ready or not later on, but uh, we're, we're, we're getting there. Yeah, just just wait until the big big key guessing game, because uh, I never hit that one right. So if, if <laughs> I get that one right, then you can start getting suspicious. <laughs> okay. So uh, I didn't see Jim picking up the big key, but I would imagine that they they did they, they did since they're heading this way, and um, so they're just gonna take care of the boss before going to the back. Oh man, I certainly hope that he didn't forget the big key. And TGH um, decided not to go to, uh, to Palace of Darkness, so instead gonna check out possibly Village of Outcast, maybe uh, Skullwoods first. Oh, we're actually gonna see a pet check here first. Oh, so interesting. If you're hoping for pet, then uh, this is your moment. With Tart Rock as a pendant, it looks uh, a little bit less likely, but you never know. Let's see. Nope. 
just some aero capacity upgrades on the pet today. I don't think anyone is going to want those. Yeah, I think the only way we see a pet, check, uh, a pet pull this, this race is if a gem decides to do a blind pull. And uh, just to get back to what you were saying earlier, since TGA, uh, TGH just decided not to go in the pod, he was lacking the money for it, and uh, that Zora play kind of coming back to haunt him a second time in a way. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, I I think Gem's gonna go back in here, right? Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. There's uh, they got like what two items so far, so there should still be three items in the bag. TGH deciding to check out as much of Skull Woods as he can. Yeah, going to the back first, um, kind of like that decision, because just in case you get the big key there, you don't have to go into the front twice. Yeah, I, I like the back first play, especially if you don't have a fire out and know you have no chance of finishing the dungeon right now. So a gem picking up two small keys there in the in the back, so that means a harmless hallway does have something, not a small key. Speaking of small keys, that's that's what TGH is finding so far. Not much in Skull Wood so far. Yeah, he's not having much luck, and there's a shield upgrade. I'm sure he wasn't looking for that. Yeah, for sure. So the last item is in the back, unaccessible at the moment. I'm just uh, damage boosting through here, grabbing some more bombs. All right, last chance for an item here. Okay, so nothing in pot except for that mirror but that mirror alone makes it worth it i think yeah especially for jim he couldn't have found a better item in pod even if it was the only one that was the perfect item for him to find yeah also very nice to get the mirror like at the beginning of your dark world uh, traveling as well it just makes your routing so much more efficient yeah, it's it's really nice to have it early on, like basically right with the Dark World Axis. And TGH is heading into uh, Thieves Town. It's going to be interesting to see if we see the first four checks here or if they decide to full clear. Yeah, I think it's going to depend on how many items he can actually grab in the first four here. We know that one of them has to be a big key, and we've already seen the compass just now, so it's not looking too great. Yeah, also already having the hammer um, guarantees you to be able to check that um, big chest if, if that's ne needed, so... It's always nice to have when you go in here, at the very least. Well, not a single item so far. Oh, yeah. He got bunny beamed. Yeah, and three out of the four chests uh, or items in Thieves Town are in the back, so it makes a lot of sense to go check them. 
Yeah, you're never really happy about a pend in Thieves Town, but you just kind of gotta check it out because it's so easily accessible as soon as you have Dark World access, basically. And there, Jem gets his revenge in uh, Eastern Palace, picking up his uh, second crystal. Oh, and he decides to save and quit. All right. I was kind of hoping for that Catfish Zora play, but I can totally understand why he wouldn't. Yeah, at this point, they might even just save it until they have um, the flippers as well, so you can just get the waterfall as well. And uh, see them going up Death Mountain here with the mirror and combined with the hammer. That's a lot of locations you can check. Yeah, now the next super convenient item for Gem to find would be the power, uh, the Titan Smiths. And if yeah. he manages to do that, um, yeah, we, we'll see. I'll, I'll try not yeah. to call it before it actually happens. Because uh, TGH just found them in Feastown instead. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you know. So that's that's a nice find from, from, from his point. Yeah, really kind of finally now that uh, he's been so distracted with that book that Zora gave him and then Boots Lock Desert, he hasn't had too much luck with his checks, but uh, those Titans, but it's actually a pretty nice find. Yeah, for sure. It's a very important part of the puzzle we need to collect here for Go Mode. So we saw Jem checking the first two chests there in um, in Hera. I didn't actually see if they got anything from it, but decided to skip out after that. I only saw that he got a compass. And, ooh, and the flute here in the big chest of Thieves Town. Jeez. Oh boy. <laughs> That's an interesting combination to find in a pendant dungeon. Both the Titan Smith and then the flute paired together with it. Yeah, they're really, especially considering how far in the back it was hidden. So, this is quite crazy. So the flu won't give them too much at the moment. They can check two items in the mire shed, but not much except for that at the moment. This also again sort of confirms that the book uh, into desert play wasn't really necessary and kind of cost TGH a bit of time, depending on what Gem decides to do. Very nice hammer fight there from TGH. Yeah, very well done. Gets a big rat for his trouble. It's not great, but I mean, can't really complain about all the other stuff he found in here. Yeah, if uh, half of the items you find in a dungeon is required to beat the seed, I would be quite happy to go into Feast on every single time. Gem now clearing out Paradox Cave, having a little trouble with the mini Moldorms, but finally finds a sword. And a bee in a bottle. And that's her first bottle as well, so that unlocks the kid. So, go ahead. Checking out hammer pegs. Okay, uh, flippers. Well, interesting. Yeah, that's uh, once again a required item in the seed. Nice to have for sure. Now, unfortunately, TGH is still a bit low on money, so it's not going to be able to do the game. And it's still lacking the money to go into uh, pod as well for uh, 
in order to get the mirror. Oh, will he realize that he doesn't have enough money before he talks to him? Nope. Well, Jim, very busy here checking all the mirror spots. Going to be checking out Stumpy here. Oh, and there's the money that TGH so badly needed. So the Red Leaves is going to get it now. Yeah, he might decide to turn around. Nope. Decides to save and quit instead. Jem is going to show us how many digs we're going to need today and what we can actually find here. <laughs> Yet another shield upgrade. That would have been the mirror shield for TGH. <laughs> yeah. Considering that the mirror shield actually causes a little bit of lag, uh, actually a good thing that TGH couldn't afford digging there. <laughs> So, uh, all rise for the, for the swag duck, and uh, we will get the quake medallion from Sick Kid. It would be very interesting if that is um, what we need for Meyer, because uh, we, we cannot enter Meyer at this point. But we're just missing the boots or hookshot in order to actually be able to full clear. It. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're gonna get that answer quite soon because TGH is heading to Meyer straight away. Alright, let's find out. And it is Quake! Alright, so we already know that we do need a bottle, which I'm sure TGH will pick up sooner rather than later. I'd be very surprised to see him skip uh, the Paradox Cave or any of the other bottle locations that we're yet to see. And it looks like Jem is having the same idea that TGH had, first uh, dipping into Skullwoods here. Not doing it from the back, but uh, it, it really kind of ends up being more or less the same. Yeah, especially since he will get a small key here from the big chest. So he can just do the left side here straight away. And going in uh, this way is really nice when you have the mirror. Because you can just mirror straight back to the entrance again. Mm -hmm. Finally not super broke anymore. Gonna be heading over to Kiki and spend some of his money that he finally found and go into Pod to pick up his mirror and hopefully as well as that crystal in there. Yeah, so the question right now is, uh, where is the next progression? We have a couple of of places we could go to. And it's going to be interesting to see once uh, both of the runners have finished up what the, what the other one did earlier to see where they decide to go. Yeah, we did find a lot of progression, especially on TGH's side. I mean, Jem probably now on his way to pick all that up as well, but... Uh... We'll, we'll have to see what they decide for. We've got the flippers, we've got the titan's mitts. we got that quite medallion that would theoretically get us into mire if we manage to find the hookshot or the boot somewhere on the way. Yeah, and uh, for TGH part, uh, when they decide to go up to Death Mountain, it's going to be quite nice to already have the mitts. Um, so you can get, at the very least, two more locations checked straight away, and uh, who knows uh, what medallion is needed for uh, for Tart Rock as well. They're probably not going to have the, the Quake though, I just realized when they go up there, because they, they're going to get the the bottle that leads to the Quake up on the mountain. Mm -hmm.
And as Chat was saying earlier, I do hope that Gem also decides to basically full clear all of Thieves Town. I'm I'm pretty sure that with how little items the first four chests had, uh, it's kind of a no-brainer. So I'm not too worried about it, but I certainly hope he doesn't decide to maybe gamble on it or something. Yeah, I, I would imagine so as well. I mean, there really isn't too many other options for Gem right now as well. Just because of uh, the progression in uh, Feastown, more or less blocking everything else at this point. There's TGH's mirror. He's probably pretty happy about that find as well. Just makes uh, pod routing and movement more convenient as well, should he decide to go to the Dark Maze first. Yeah, and it looks like that's that's the decision they are going for. Very nice hammer yump here by TGH, gonna be making his way out of the dark maze from the back. So yeah, it looks like Gem is deciding to full clear Thieves Town. Yeah, having a little trouble navigating through here, but there we go. So Gem already having the mirror, it's going to be a very, um, very convenient to find the flute here. Because once you're done, you can just mirror and activate the flute straight away. Yeah, a little bit of an edge over TGH, just as uh, TGH will have the convenience of being able to check the Dark Roll Death Mountain, as you were saying earlier, coming up there with the Titan's mitts in hand already. Jim doesn't want to mess with these little cricket guys, decides to get out the hammer, the hammer one on the face. I think with blue mail he would have been safe from at least one hit. Um, yeah, I, f I think with blue mail they do one heart of damage. I think I might have to talk to uh, Gem about his hammer aiming after this game. <laughs> yeah, the hammer is a little bit weird sometimes. The hitbox is uh, its a strong weapon, but with a little bit of an odd hitbox. Yeah, it, it's definitely not something you're used to because it's a little offset to the side. Yeah, and Gem is gonna have to go into the blind fight with two hearts. Uh, if they pick up that one heart before before the fight, which I would imagine they would do at this point. Uh, unfortunately, Jim already picked up that heart when he went up to pick up the key, so he's gonna have to do it with one heart. Oh, jakes. Well, uh, I hope they have practiced the script then, because they do have the sword in order for doing the scripted fight. Mm-hmm. Well, TGH has absolutely no trouble finishing off Helmosaur. Grabs his uh, second crystal as well. It's 
so far. Gem looking good here. Yeah, starting off really good. Very <laughs> nice. Is. Grabbing his blue pendant, didn't want to leave an item behind. I can totally understand that, even if it turned out to just be a red rupee. Yeah, especially once you're already basically done with everything in the dungeon. And as you were saying, just a little mirror and off we go activating that swag duck. Now if Jim also decides to step right back into his portal and check out the hammer pegs, he will be pretty much an item parody with what TGH has found, minus yeah. the book. Yeah, for sure. And at that point, um, when you get the flippers, you could just go up and check uh, Graveyard Ledge and then continue over to Catfish and, and Sora. And oh, there's oh. that hookshot on Ether Tablet. Oh boy. All right, so we are two or one sword upgrade away from even being able to get that, not even talking about Gem still having to visit Zora for that book. Yeah. So that book is definitely required in one way or another, the scene. Not for Desert, but for the Hookshot. And as soon as our runners get the Master Sword, and in Gem's case also the book, that hookshot is gonna let them do both Mr. Meyer and a Swamp Palace full clear. TGH also decides to dip out of uh, Tower of Hera after finding the big key in the basement and the compass in the first chest. So we'll have to see if that comes back to haunt them later on. Both of these guys decided to do that, so if it does, they'll both have to come back. Yeah. Imagine, imagine Hera holding the Master Sword all this time. <laughs> oh, man. That will be something. Just a little piece of love here from the blacksmith. I think TGH had to, or decided to not take him with him because he didn't have that mirror yet at that time. Yeah, I think that's correct. Now we're going to find out what we need for Turtle Rock. And it looks like Bombo, so we definitely need two different medallions for both of our dungeons here, assuming we will need to go into Turtle Rock, which we will. Uh, and there's the Bombos from yep. the Purple Chest. Speaking of Bombos. <laughs> and with the Bombos, actually gives Gem the possibility to uh, full clear Ice Palace as well. Oh yeah, that's right. But deciding to go over here to uh, Sora area first, so... Um, they're gonna be happy about that in the future when they go up to Death Mountain again. Yeah, and since Gem hasn't uh been able to check the Dark World side of Death Mountain, there's a good chance he might check that Ether Tablet before he goes. Still needs the Master Sword to grab that actual item, but he will at least find out that he'll have to come back for it later. see what gem does i think ip wouldn't be the worst play right now it's not really great especially not with the equipment but yeah heading i think this makes sense too uh heading over here to uh to Meyer. it's a pretty fast shake you can also just go into desert which uh because gem hasn't done it yet mm -hmm. 
and it's been open for such a long time to both the runners, so definitely nice to get that peace of mind of uh, in case there's something important in, in the third. Yeah, this is definitely also a good choice, as you were saying. Now he's gonna get his desert check in. We'll unfortunately also find out that it's boots luck for now. Yeah, but having the mirror at the very least, they can check, um, do the checkerboard cave as well, which uh, TGH was not able to do the first time they they went here. I think uh, Jim was telling us with those slashes that he's gotten enough hearts already, and to stop it with the hard pieces and the hard containers. <laughs> yeah, that could definitely be, be it. So TGH is heading over here again, so might be deciding to clear Hera. Yeah, looks like exactly what he is doing. I'm, yeah, I'm curious what we have in here. This could end up making a massive difference. Yeah, so looking at the items right now, what we would need for no mode um, would be a massive sword boots and the fire rod mm -hmm. so it's not too many items left that needs to be located oh and it looks like gem might be getting ready for a spike cave check here with that blue potion that he just bought oh he bought it for ice palace that's fair goes down pretty quickly there for TGH, getting a small key though, so that means our last item is in the basement. Yeah, that first item that he found earlier on were 50 rupees, so yeah, do, do you take that time to go through that tile room? It looks like TGH is saying yes. Yeah, I, I don't really blame him. It's not fun. It's a little bit of a time investment, but you don't want to leave that one item that comes back like an hour later when you've checked everything else. Yeah, for sure. It's uh, you don't want to isolate uh, items overall, especially not like up on Death Mountain, where it takes a while to get back up there. TGH makes it through the tower room flawlessly, doesn't even need to use the crystal switch blocks to uh, gain iframes or anything. Aww. He gets rewarded with 5 rupees, so if Gem decides to never check Hera, that's definitely some, some time that they can save. Yeah, unfortunately for TGH, that didn't quite work out, but uh, we'll have to see. Maybe Jem feels that he also needs to check that out. Some very nice false stress there from, from Jem with the Pengators.
are going to be seeing a pretty nice bomb jump here from Jem once he manages to get rid of enough of those red jellies. Yeah, and we might see TGHF going to Ice Post soon as well, because they're uh, they might be cleaning up this mix sequence here. And TGH finally going to be able to dig here, going to be maybe finding his laser shield. I'm not sure if he's actually going to pick it up once he sees it. Nope. No law for the shields. So I don't think Gemma has really found anything super important in here yet. I mean, obviously he'll end up with a crystal, which is very nice. Yeah, it will be um, the second 5-6 crystal, so that will open up two more locations in the pyramid. Oh, very true, yeah. And that might even make him go up to uh, check that catfish. I'm, I'm pretty hung up on that catfish, it seems. Yeah, did... Uh... TGH ever check that? I don't think so. Oh, oh very <laughs> nice find. There is the massive store, so yeah, that's that's an, a very important pickup in this in this game. So that probably means that as soon as Jem manages to make his way back up to Death Mountain, he will most likely be the proud owner of a new hookshot. Yeah, I would imagine so. And that hookshot is um, unlocking two entire crystal dungeons, as well as uh, the hookshot cave. So that's plenty of items that they can get from from picking up the shot. Now TGH picks up his Bombo, so ne uh, now he also has both of the medallions required, or possibly required, the seed. One of them is at least fully required. Nice hammer strengths here so far from Gem. Decides to switch over to the Master Sword, just a little bit safer and more convenient. TGH uh, wants to check out Hobo, and Jem also wants to check out Hobo. They're both coming at it from a little bit of a different directions here. No big deal though, we're gonna find out what the little man under the bridge has for us today. And it's a bomb upgrade. TGH also uh, serenading us with a couple of beeps. Haven't heard those yet so far. And it looks like TGH wants to check that catfish that I was talking about earlier. Okay, um, catfish. So what do we think we're going to see from catfish now? I mean, we are 
still missing a few items that we need. There's also still a few items that we might not need that they could find. Maybe it'll be more fetch quest stuff. Oh, and TGA just done with the beeping, wants to get a free refill. Yeah, I might pick up a potion as well. I knew he was gonna drink that. Just talk to the friendly little helper there. Well, he, he's not in a money issue anymore, so if you have money to spend, why not? Yeah, that's true. Up in the Hyrule economy. All right, TGH gonna show us what Catfish has, while Gem is gonna show us what Pyramid Fairy has in store for us. One item versus two. Yeah, the best thing for... Oh, there's... There's another blue potion with TGH. <laughs> yeah, Pyramid Fairy was a bust. There was absolutely nothing in there. GH at least got another bottle and some more money. Yeah, and TGH now heading over. Probably gonna check the. Um, oh, going into Ice Plus first. Or did TGH do the, uh, the hobo? Yeah, they both checked hobo, and it was okay. a bomb upgrade. Because, yeah, that, this is good news for TDH, then, because uh, they're definitely going to be lying for uh, Death Mountain after this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That hookshot is really tasty. And then there's the hookshot cave, more or less, right next to it. Yeah. And uh, Gem might be heading there as well, because I don't think they have too many options left anymore. Yeah, I think, I mean, apparently he wants a mirror, and uh, I'm not sure what he wants to check here. Probably just flew away. Oh, is this a swamp play? Oh, uh, this might be a swamp play. Oh, Maybe man. it's just a Bombos tablet. I certainly hope so. Yeah, so he's definitely heading to uh, Bombos first here, but uh, hopefully they decide not to go into Swamp after that. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for, uh, for a little flute back up to Death Mountain there after this. It's going to be in the light world anyways for the tablet, so let's see what he does. I'm always hoping if one tablet is on his mind, the other one might be as well. Yeah, it's just too bad that it wasn't hookshot on either tablet instead of Ether. Oh, uh, we are walking back in the Dark World. Yeah, this is... Um... This is definitely a swamp play, uh, that, which is un very unfortunate. That is incredibly unfortunate, yeah. And uh, considering he won't have the hook shot and won't find it in there either, uh, we're probably not going to see the trademark gem left side skip either. Yeah, for sure. Um, best thing for gem here, I guess, is just to find nothing, and that's going to force them up to Death Mountain at least.
Oh, there's another sword, so... Uh... Well, that's something at least. I mean, there's plenty of uh, good stuff that he could find in here, good in a uh, progression sense. But as you were saying, everything might mislead him to somewhere else and uh, have him delay that Death Mountain check that he needs to do for that hookshot. Yeah, so TGH still has uh, some things left here to do in uh, in Ice Palace. We might actually see them heading up to, uh, depending on what a gem finds, of course, but uh, if there's nothing here, we might actually see them heading up for Death Mountain in about the same time. Mm-hmm. I think TGH has uh, those two blue potions. Not gonna be in any trouble despite serenading us with some more beeps. At the very least, it's uh, quarter beeps. Yeah, it's not as annoying as it could be. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did TGH not pick up the Master Sword? I think that they skipped Ice Key Room, which had a bit the Master Sword. Well, he hopefully goes back in for it. Yeah, it's a pretty long way back for it, but uh, like it's gonna be worth it. Otherwise, they would have to double dip Swamp to get that sword. Oh man. This is a little bit crazy, but we'll have to see what TGH does after this. Need to be careful. Yeah, drink that second blue potion. Yeah, so on this menu, so I definitely don't have the Master Sword. Nice hammer fight though against the um, um, cold stare. Yeah, very nice job by him. Unfortunately, that is gonna mean he won't be going up for that hook shot right now. Yeah, this race just has some interesting plot twists. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So Gem is done in Ice Palace, uh, I mean Swamp Palace, and TGH looks like he's heading into it now. Now TGH is just gonna shake that first chest, get the Master Sword, and then peace out straight away. He might also go for the Pyramid Fairy first. Yeah, that, oh, that's true. And Gem... I can't... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... Uh... No, go ahead. I was just going to say, Jem making a, his way up there, so I think he will be having his hookshot in a second. And will be very unhappy about that. That's the second time where he finds the item that he needs right after he leaves the palace that he needed it in. <laughs> yeah, for sure, that's uh, it's definitely annoying to see. And it's also worth noting that if we never find that fourth sword um tgh will be on master sword for the rest of the run while gem will have the timber yeah and make some difference yeah especially on the ganon fight it does make a big difference i think uh, 
right, so hookshot for Jim. He is super happy about having that. Not super happy about the timing of finding it, I'm sure. So do you think there's um, a possibility that we might see a uh, Tart Rock dip here after checking Hookshot Cave? Just to see if Fire Rod is in one of those uh, early chests? Because it, it's pr most of the time going to be a very short dip, right? If you don't have the Fire Rod. Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I think it might be worth it. On the other hand, I think Jem might be thinking, hey, I already had to double dip EP and now I'm going to have to double dip Swamp. Do I really want to double dip or Turtle Rock or chance it? He's opening it at least. Yeah, so it looks like he's, uh, at the very least, um, keeping the possibilities open um, in case they don't find anything here. Mm -hmm. And for TGH, it's uh, most a question here on when do they decide to go into Swamp Palace. Like, I would imagine when you know where the hookshot is, you want to save, save that for last, right? Yeah, I would think so. I mean... Especially, as you say, when you know where the hookshot is and you only need one more sort of grid. So, hookshot cave did not really have anything. Yeah, a lot of chests, but nothing really of worth for us. Uh, nothing in here either, as we saw from TGH earlier. And it looks like Gem really does want to dip in the turtle rock. Yeah, and they still have those. Uh, that's at least one for the potion, right? So you could decide to do spike cave afterwards as well. Yep, that's true. All right, so for Gem, if we don't find a small key in that first chest, we're going to be out of here very, very quickly. And if we do find a small key, we might be going very far into this dungeon. Yeah, not finding a small key, though, so I think that's for the best. Because if you're unlucky enough, you could go all the way to Lace Bridge. Yeah, I think Jim was probably happy about that. Didn't really want to waste a whole lot of time in Turtle Rock, maybe not finding anything. Yeah, and speaking of Turtle Rock, is that where uh, TGH is heading now? Yeah, might be checking that Spike Cave, as you were saying earlier. That's really the only other thing up here. Gem he heading back into uh, Swamp Palace, and once they're done, they can go straight over to, uh, or just float over to Mr. Myron for clear that as well. Yeah, and at this point, we're not missing a whole lot, really. What, what are we still looking for? The boots? Yeah, boots and fire rod is what we need for on Gem's side, at the very least. Mm -hmm. And uh, for TGH, it still needs to have the sword as well. Yeah, it does look like TGH also wants to check out what Turtle Rock has uh, as well for him. Thankfully, he's not going to get very far. Yeah, but that, this is going to feel bad um, for TGH. It's a pretty long way up here, and uh, all you're going to get from it is five rupees. So hopefully for TGH's sake, um, there's a sword in, uh, in Spike Cave, the last sword. Yeah, that would definitely save him a lot of time. Otherwise, he'll... Yeah, I don't know. As we were saying earlier, the the check into Swamp Palace when you know where the hookshot is, it's probably not very high up on your priority list.
Oh, and six just... and quits as well. So might just be biting the bullet here and going for for spawn palace. Yeah, he, he was thinking for a second where he wants to spawn and what he wants to do probably. And uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, what's really left for him other than spawn palace? Oh, he's going back into ice. Nope, he's not. Never mind. Yeah, because um, I think that that gives us the information that he at the very least knows at this point that that he might have skipped one chest in in Ice Palace. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. the last sword and swamp. Oh man, that is rough. So really, the yeah, that's the only chance CGH has: double dip in swamp or going back into ice for that one chest. That's so unfortunate for him. Well, if there's any silver lining, at the very least, TGH is going to get the Temper Sword. Yeah, that's very true. Now the difference in the Ganon fight will be a lot smaller. The difference between a Master Sword and a Tempered Sword Ganon is much, much bigger than the difference between a Butter Sword and a Tempered Sword Ganon. Now, uh, the most ideal situation for these guys would be the Boots and Mire. But uh, we could also see a little bit of a fetch quest chain, considering we haven't found a shovel or a mushroom or the powder or any of that stuff yet. Yeah, for sure. And uh, like at this point, I think both runners are hoping to see the fire rod as the go mode, because if they get the fire rod for the boots, that will unlock the rest of Turtle Rock as well. Yeah. And there's that sword for TGH. So just piecing out straight away, going up to get that hook shot. And for TGH, this is probably like feeling like this is a required double dip in the swamp. Yeah, he's he's not feeling good. And since he might have just misfluted earlier, but since he was thinking at least for a second uh, to go back into Ice Palace, he's probably aware that he skipped something important in there. Alright, now Jem is off into Mire, our first opportunity to even get in. Yeah, we got most of the items early for Mire, except for that hookshot, so... It would be very interesting to see what's in here. Yeah, you you hope to find the items relatively early on in here because there's a couple of torch rooms that really require a little bit of waiting time and everything, and they're always very annoying to check. Oh, and there's the, there's the fire on, so... Uh... Yeah, that's that's interesting. Um, we're definitely gonna see Skull Woods before anyone decides to go off to Turt Rock, I think, but... Uh, we gotta start thinking right now, maybe I need to go into Turt Rock again. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure that's, as you were saying earlier, that's not the item you want to find first out of the two that you still need. Yeah, there's still one item left here as well in, in Meyer, so... Still have the possibility of finding the boots here as well. That will be... A very lucky outcome, but it is possible. Gem also deciding to go straight to the boss decides not to waste his time in that torch room. 
Uh, hoping to find the item there. Hopefully this doesn't turn into, uh, you know, a, a TGH for getting a sw uh, sword and swamp uh, and ice palace situation. Yeah, you never wish that on, on any runner, really, so... If there's, if there's nothing on, uh, on the boss here, hopefully Jim decides to go back in again. Is he setting up the spooky glitch action here? I think he is. He's at least trying. Ah, wonderful. Very nicely done. Alright, here comes a vitreous fight with uh, silver arrows, no problem. And did TGH flood the key? Is, is that why he mirrored back out? I... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm confused. I, I think he... Um, no, he um, he entered the dungeon without activating the dam again. Oh, okay. I kind of missed if there was any items on on uh, Vitreous there. Yeah, me too. I was uh, sorry. I was a little distracted by TGH first, yeah. being distracted by Gem. Jeez, uh, but uh, I don't think he found anything of importance there. It was the compass and video, All right. Okay, so that's uh, that's one item left in my then. Ah, both these guys deciding to either voluntarily or not leave an item behind somewhere. Yeah, like at this point, I can see the reasoning for it, because you want to save as much time as possible, but it's just been unfortunate so far in this race that it's uh, it's been quite costly instead. Mm -hmm. Because most of the times the alts are on your side, uh, that one item is not going to be something important. But it's... it's really costly when it happens to be something that you really need. Mm -hmm. It's it's definitely an understandable play, and it's definitely also not a bad play, as you say. The odds are usually on your side. It's just, we've seen so much crazy stuff in this seed already. So as you were saying earlier, we're uh, definitely seeing uh, Mothula fight here before Jem has to go back into Turtle Rock. Yeah, and Mothula starting off by uh, shitting a little bit by uh, not taking damage from spikes, but uh, goes down after a while, just getting the blue boomerang though, so... Yeah. So we might see uh, both runners double dip a pendant turtle rock to see. I think the meanest thing could be for them to get vanilla boots at this point, since turtle rock is the green pendant as well. Yeah, um, that would definitely be one of the worst plays to get it. So Gem still haven't done Hera, but since they've skipped it for so long, I would not be surprised to see them keep doing that right now and just going to Turtle Rock instead. Yeah, I think Turtle Rock is definitely the more attractive option. I could see it being on the back of his mind, but since he just uh, checked the pedestal as well, I'm, I'm thinking he might favor the green pendant over the other color. I think 
red. Yeah. Especially when there's more items in Tatrock as well. Now I do hope that uh, that TGH shows us what Jem left behind just to sate my curiosity. Not to make him waste time or anything, but uh, I'm really curious to see what it was. Yeah, like at this point, uh, Jim looks to have um, the advantage in, in this race, but uh, if that item in Meyer is boots or something leading to the boots, that could just turn this race around again. TGH is just uh, missing half a heart, and now he gets his heart refilled for the sword beams. Sword beams make this room so much more convenient. Yeah, most of the times you don't really want to have sword beams, because they can be uh, just an annoyance, but that's definitely one of those rooms where it's, uh, it's very nice to have it. So just a couple of keys here, even the big key for Turtle Rock for Gem. So there's the fire out for TGH. Change jump room there for Jim. Um, getting another small key, which was uh, guaranteed because of the key layout. Mm -hmm. Now TGH is going to be grabbing his big key here. Let's see what he decides to do. Yeah, it looks like he is checking the torch room, so we are going to find out what Jim left behind in Misery Meyer. Or yeah. maybe yeah. he's just tricking me. <laughs> it uh, looks like he's heading over to. Uh... Oh, did he not check this chest yet? Oh, okay. So he might be going for the big chest and uh, that uh, other chest right next to it. Which it uh, looks like he is. But if none of those have, have the item at that point, maybe they just decide to go for the 50-50 of having the item on the boss instead. Yeah, at this point, I'd be kind of surprised to see him go all the way back to that torch room, but we might see it. And there it is. It's just a red rupee, so... Yeah, I'm definitely saving some time by leaving that behind. Mm-hmm. So it looks like Turtle Rock is indeed the play to make. Yeah, early Ice Rod and then Green Pendant, Turtle Rock for Go Mode. It would look, it would seem like at this point. So I'm not even sure if we have any other options. I guess. Mimi Cave is not technically Turt Rock. Yeah, only has a couple of bombs anyway, but uh, I, I think you're right. I'm, I mean, I know Jem might have not checked a couple of the overworld locations yet that uh, TGH already checked. But we basically know that there really isn't much left, if anything, other than Turtle Rock. Yeah. And that would also mean that at Mirror Shield that both runners uh, decided not to pick up would be required by the logic to have at this point. And that's true, we don't have any in, uh, invulnerability items. 
ability. That's what it's called. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. But yeah, um, it's not gonna hurt them, I don't think. Um, but it's just interesting because uh, that's the only thing that those um, shields can be required for. Mm -hmm. TGH finishing up Misery Mire, and uh, Gem is slowly but surely reaching the mirror bridge. Uh, the laser bridge, I mean. So, getting two items there, but... Um... Wonder, do we have any items left, or is it? Yeah, that's the last item. Then I guess, and then we have the small key here. So, is it really vanilla boots? It might be. I'm not sure. Uh, it could possibly be one more item left in here, but I think maybe we've seen all of them at this point. I mean, if if the game really wants to be mean, it could also be some fetch quest for the green pendant that then leads to the boots. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen any of the fetch quests yet, so... Uh... And yeah, the shield upgrade that both of the runners decided not to get was at the digging game. Yeah, so the thing that could uh, give TGH some time to come back here is if Jam decides to do um, Hera before uh, before turning in the green pendant. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Oh, there's the last item. And um, did any of the runners, by the way, I don't think they did, but um, do the spy cave? No, nobody's been to the spy cave yet either. That's also true. Yeah, it's not in logic yet, but like imagine if you get the cape or a cane from from Sashrala and it's been hiding in Spy Cave all along. That would be pretty crazy. Jem is definitely fluting away here, so I don't think he's checking Hera. I think he's pretty committed to not going into Hera. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think it makes sense. You skipped it so long. At this point, you must be thinking if the boots are in Hera, I probably already lost. Yeah, and I think he's probably thinking, you know, he's seeing that TGH hasn't that done yet either, so he must be searching for something as well. <laughs> there they are. Vanilla boots from Sahasrila. At 1 hour 38 minutes and, well, about 25 seconds, we are finally in go mode after getting... Our uh, vanilla boots from Sahasrala in the pendant TR that we called like five minutes in that it will be required. What a time to be alive. The memes are real. So now Jem just has uh, to make his way through Desert Palace as quickly as he possibly can. And then run up and open up Ganon's Tower. And it looks like TGH is also on the correct way, albeit a little later. Yeah, and at this point Jem definitely has a uh, pretty big lead. Um, more than a, a full Tartarok clear ahead. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like to call things early, but at this point, I think, unless something super tragic happens to Jem, 
It's it's gonna be hard for him to lose this one. Finally having those boots just dashing along in Desert Palace as fast as possible. Yeah, Jim doesn't want to waste any more seconds and it really, finally, after looking for them for so long, it feels really good to finally be able to dash in this game. Yeah, for sure. And um, Jim is about to pick up his 7 crystal here. So I do believe it's time for us to play some kind of a game. A game, you say? Tell me more. Yeah, so there's uh, 22 locations in Ganon's Tower where the big key can be. And uh, we want to see if you can guess in which location it will be. In. So a number between 1 and 22, where is the big key? And if you're a subscriber to um, to any of the speed gaming channels or have donated 250 bits or more um you will be on the leaderboard if you are the first one to guess the correct guess so um herfy where do you think we're gonna see the big key today i always pick number eight i don't know why but uh, i do usually if uh, they go the first two chests on the right side and then go left side it is the double fire bar room Do you have a number that you usually pick, or do you mix it up every time? Um, most of the times I just pick a random number, but uh, I guess I'll go with number uh, 15. That's the, the usually the, the big key uh, where, where, they, where it is in the vanilla game, mm -hmm. if you go for the full left side. So um, it's definitely not going to be there. TGH getting a bunch of crazy drops in that room. Decides not to pick any of them up, which is fair, but an 8 bomb drop, a fairy, a couple of arrows, I think, and a full magic refill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at this point, there's only one thing that TGH wants to pick up. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, it's a little bit of footwear. So, uh, Gem going to the right side first here, going with these first two chests, getting a small key, so be heading over to the right side. Yeah, this really has become the new standard, I would say, nowadays. As soon as you get a small key, you check those first four chests on the right side. It's not really a big time investment, and if you happen to find a big key there, it's, it's really nice and convenient location-wise. Also a little bit nicer to do uh, this uh, right side when you have the boots as well. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, no big key, so uh, we're up to number six now and no big key so far. I'm yeah, getting close to my guess, two more chests, or I guess a torch and one chest. Yeah, so just a piece of heart on the torch. Bob stays alive for now.
who uh, TGH getting an unfortunate fall there on the, on the bridge leading up to Laser Bridge. Number eight, the shovel. Yeah, close enough. That kind of looks like a big key. <laughs> yeah, it could have been the the right one in uh, Key Senate to see where the shovel leads to the big key. <laughs> I'm guessing this is um, should be number twelve then. Yep, that is number twelve. Okay, TTH did take the safety door there. <laughs> A little bit afraid first when I just saw the the death animation. He's probably not going to be very happy to find that small key and realizing that, well, okay, I guess it might be on try next. So 13, no, no big key. Heading up here to Randru. A room that I and probably a lot of other people did not know existed before we started playing Rando. Yeah, you usually don't see this room a lot in Vanilla, and there it finally is. So that was number 14, right? I... Uh, I think so. I think I'm gonna have to double count, to be sure. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like chat agrees with us. Yeah, looks like that was 14. Alright, now TGH finally picking up his green pendant. I hope he immediately decides to go check Sahasrala. And the only stop he could make is that spy cave we were talking about earlier, but I don't think he will. Yeah, and congratulations to Phileum, by the way, being the first one to guess 14. Shout out to Phileon. And meanwhile, uh, Jam is starting the gauntlet. Nice for a Stealthos room. These red Stealthos can be really annoying. Yeah, for sure. Um... That's definitely my least favorite part of the gauntlet. And their TGH heads into go mode as well. Nice one cycle there from Jim on the on the Lamolas. Yeah, makes quick work of them. No problem at all. So does uh, Jem have any potions left? I think he might have a blue potion left, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, because... Uh... We're not in any immediate danger right now, but the heart count is a little bit low at the moment. Yeah, it's it's definitely not super comfy, and they're at least in blue mail, but again, a hug or a fire bat can still mess up your day in blue mail when you only got three and a half hearts. Yeah, and especially when you don't have the powder in order to take a refill here before Molar. You do have um, um, the cape, uh, I guess, in case they want to use that. that yeah, and with the butter with the half magic as well, yeah. Ooh, oh. Taking a molder form. 
fall. That's that's unfortunate, but that's gonna make you feel even more stressed out at this point. But... Yeah, when when you're climbing GT and you're in Moldorm two and you see that your opponent hasn't got done yet and you're not sure how far ahead or behind you are, it's it's nerve wracking. Could have maybe looked for another heart piece for a free refill. I'm not sure how many heart pieces he's at right now, but uh, he's he seems pretty confident in his ability to make it through all of this. Alright, welcome to your geometry lesson. That might have been a double. They hit yeah. pretty close together. That was definitely a double at least, so I guess we'll see now if he gets another one. Oh, uh, getting some blue balls, unfortunately. Yeah, this should be it now, either way. There we go. Well. Okay, so it looks like the first one did not count as a double. All right, four hearts, a full magic bar, a cape, a butter sword, silver arrows. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jim has this, barring any unfortunate accidents. Yeah, it I mean, would have to be a lot of Ganas falls at this point. At, at this point. Yeah, he's uh, pretty much a whole Ganon's tower ahead of TGH, who is just now making his way up there. Going for the dash strats, yeah. very nice. I always love to see that. And some excellent dodging of the fire bass there as well. Yeah, already in phase three, so basically all the hard stuff is over and done with, didn't take a single hard damage. Some trolley teleports there, but nothing too bad. And now we're in the final phase. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> it looked to uh, set up a, a nice double, though, but... Uh... Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's how you do phase four of Ganon, everyone. I hope you didn't miss it. Yep, uh, I hope everyone saw how that works. That is basically... A picture perfect Ganon fight. GG to Jim. Making it through his game three and winning, ultimately moving on to the top eight. Yeah, for sure. Um, massive GG's to, to Jim. Spam your emotes in chat. And uh, same time, GG's to TGH as well. He's been doing a really uh, excellent uh, run in all of his races in, in this tournament so yeah absolutely uh tgh a great player he wouldn't have made it to the top 16 if he wasn't uh just a little bit unlucky with that skip of that ice tea room with the sword uh you know and it can happen to anyone even the best players sometimes make an unlucky choice All right, so I'm not sure if we can get Jim here for an interview. I think we should be able to. Oh, he's already in the setup room, so... So TGH will be coming up on the on the big key very shortly here. <laughs> I 
moon runes for sale. I'm not sure if I've seen that text before from Sora. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Alright, let's uh, first get Gem in here, our winner today. Hello, Gem, and uh, GG on your win, a hard fought, fought game three. <sighs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> how, how are you feeling overall about the seed? Um, well, after I came out of Swamp, I felt... Uh, I felt pretty nice about just retiring Randall. <laughs> <laughs> um, then when I was on top of GT, <laughs> I was as nervous as I've never been before in Randall. <laughs> oh man. Because DJ8 still wasn't done and I was expecting him to dot done. Basically, what? any time <laughs> <laughs> after, I don't know, after I went into TR. <laughs> yeah. I can understand the feeling. What ultimately saved you, I would say, is uh, TGH decided or forgot about the Ice Tea Room, or he decided to skip it, I'm not sure which it was. So he came out of Ice Palace without a Master Sword. So even though he knew where the hookshot was, he had no possible way to get it. And if you know where the hookshot is, you obviously don't want to go in the swamp, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so he checked everywhere for a sword, but couldn't find one until he finally dipped in the swamp and, you know, checked the first chest and then had to go back to get the hookshot. <laughs> yeah, when when I found the sword uh, in the first chest of swamp, I kind of figured uh, something could be on ether. Because with three swords, it was very likely I had the two uh, progressive ones. And I was really close to just mirroring out and going to ether, but I figured I should just come in, especially after my basically death in EP early on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, still surprised I somehow won this. <laughs> yeah, uh, Walter was saying there were quite a few plot twists in this seed. It's, I, I think it's definitely worth checking back for and watching it back. Yeah, I definitely will. Yeah, so you're moving on to the to the quarterfinals. Uh, so how are you feeling about them? Do you know who your opponent is yet? Yeah, it's it's PKR, and I'm pretty scared. <laughs> um, oh, PKR, man. Yeah, that's gonna be an exciting matchup. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. I have some more faith. Yeah, I mean, at this point, everybody's scary, so... <laughs> that not, is very true. It's not like it's, it's a new feeling, but still. <laughs> it's like TGH hovering the Moldorm 2 gap here. Showing off some swag. Yeah, with such late boots, at least we we got some use out of them. Oh yeah, about those boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, vanilla boots, man. I don't know. This is the second seed in this tourney that I have I've had boots in Sphere Eight. So, please no more, really. <laughs> We'll uh, we'll try our best, and uh, also since TGH is a little bit short on time, and we're on a 15 minute delay, anyways, we've uh, got him here as well. GG TGH. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you. GG Jim. GG. Uh, how are you feeling about this? I'm I'm assuming not too great. Uh, I'm a little mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Just just a little bit, but yeah. Um... I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like this is kind of how I got knocked out of the fall tourney as well, which makes it sting a little bit more. Um, boots locked behind Trinex in pendant, 
uh, Turtle Rock two straight tournaments. That's how I got knocked out. Um, and, well, I mean, that's not what knocked me out, though. That's not what lost me this race. What lost me this race was skipping the, the Ice Tea Chest, um, which had a sword, come to find out, after the race. And, uh, you know, one when when Jem finished when he did, I thought I was in good shape. You know, I assumed that chest had nothing. I thought I was in decent shape going up GT, but like, regardless of how long the seed took. Um, it was just that kind of seed, but um, yeah, I, I thought I still thought it was either either close or even slightly ahead. Um, yeah, but yeah, that as it turned out, that wasn't the case. Just because that chest had something is the only chest I skipped in the entire game, and it feels bad to get knocked out by that. Yeah, I think took that's... took one gamble, and it hurt me pretty badly. I think. Yeah, I think I think that's understandable. Absolutely, it's uh, very unfortunate, and as you say, it's really the only gamble you took and the only item that you skipped, and uh, it's especially bad because that's what forced you to double dip swamp. And when you already know where Hookshot is, and you're only looking for a sword upgrade, I think the first chest in swamp is the last place you want to look at. But uh, I still think you did awesomely. You did awesomely well to get this far in the tournament, and you played very well in these three games as well. And uh, I think that's it's nothing to be ashamed of. I, I think everyone can understand that it definitely stings. But uh, I think you put up a very great performance, and it was a pleasure watching all your games. Well, thank you. This tournament's been great as well. Really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Uh, well, I think, Walter, do you have any more questions? I'm not sure we'll break through um, a lot of them, but uh, yeah, once again, GG's to both of you. Um, it's a really exciting race um, to watch, and I can imagine you might not want to um, see this race again, but uh, it's very entertaining, it's very easy. Yeah, with all due respect, I don't think I'll be watching this one back. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> totally okay, I think. <laughs> all right, well, guys, I think that's pretty much going to be it from us. Again, GG to both of you. Uh, Jim, good luck in the rest of the tournament, of course, especially in your next round. Uh, TGH, I hope uh, it doesn't sting too bad, though right now it probably doesn't feel very great. I'll get over it. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And uh, I, I want to give thanks to everyone involved here. Of course, our Trekker Ninban doing a great job keeping track of all the items. Thanks to all of you guys for watching. Make sure uh, to follow both of the runners. Uh, if you thought, uh, thought this was entertaining as we did, you should definitely throw them a follow. Thanks to Fiesel and Speed Gaming. And last but not least, of course, thanks to my co-commentator, Walter. Uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, the same. Big thanks to you, to you, to you as well, Herfi. All right, then uh, that's going to be it from us. I hope you guys have a great night.